log into Veretta using your WRPS email and the password that you chose when you set it up initially. Click on your class and this will bring you into the Veretta interface where you have um, some different options. But for the purposes of this video, we'll just be looking at uh, grade six and specifically how you can practice for a PAT. So I've chosen this bottom option and I'm setting up a new grouping, um, which basically just means I'm setting up one testing session. And that's going to create the exam code, which is what your students are going to need to log into the exam. So once you have created this grouping, you're ready to go ahead and start this assessment. So this doesn't mean it's going to live launch. Um, this is going to be the part where we tell it which assessment we're doing, which we're going to do a practice exam in this case. Um, and then choose our other option here. You only have a few things available for grade six right now. So you can do um, written response, but you're providing your own response for that. Um, there's a one question and a three question version. There's also this practice exam, which includes a selection of questions from all of the subjects. That is all that they currently have available uh, within the Veretta software for grade six. So I'll continue along with the setup, um, giving it a name and giving a time limit. So now this is my assessment screen for this uh, test run. It's still not um, accessible, the practice itself to students, but you can see the code there in the upper right hand corner that's how students are going to get in. Once they log in using that code along with their ASN and their date of birth, which there is a report you can pull in your uh, power school. It's an MBA report that allows you to pull login cards that will print that information out for your students. So let's have a look on the student side. On the Chromebooks, there is an app installed that will lock them down for this. So they don't log into the Chromebook. Instead, they click this little apps button at the bottom. The kiosk app will pop up. If they click on that, it's going to open up the Veretta login screen for them and lock their browser to Veretta. So I quickly kind of went past that that page previous, they just need to click the proceed that they agree uh, to follow the rules of the secure exam site. And then on this page, they're going to enter that exam code that comes from your teacher uh, view of Veretta that you just set up. So they enter that code, you can post it for them or print it out for them. However, you give it to them and then you can give them those secure login cards that you can pull out of MBA. I had a error with the birth date here. Let's just fix that up. This is supposed to be 2010. And now logged in as a student, my this student is going to get the message that they're just in the waiting room and that their teacher will be letting them in shortly. So that's the first step for students getting logged in. This is going to populate them as students under this assessment on the teacher view as well. So if we go back to the teacher view and go to this active assessment that we have going on, and as you know, it, it says active, but we know it's not actually active. So there's some extra steps to enable your students to complete what's been assigned here. There's an accept button. If I had multiple students signed in, I could do all of them with just one simple click. So this is accepting those students into this assessment. Uh, I can have a look and make sure it's, it's, you know, just my students in the list before going ahead. And also um, another step to take is to click the unlock button. Once you click this unlock button here, the screen on the student Chromebooks is going to change and they're going to get this pop up, letting them know that their live assessment is ready and they'll be able to hit that assessment button.